Hi friends, welcome to C Sharp Programming. In this video, I will teach you about what is struct in C Sharp. So struct is nothing but a structure. It's a short form of structure. It is basically similar to a class in C Sharp, but mainly used for storing only data. So here the difference between class and uh, struct is class is a reference type and struct is a value type. It will mainly focus on value. Suppose you want to store uh, uh, details about a particular person such as name, email and phone number of a person. So we can create three variables. Usually we have to create three variables for storing the name of the person, email ID and phone number. right? Suppose if you want to store 100 percent details such if you want to store 100 percent details such as name, email, phone number. So we cannot do it with this symbol value right we need a complex data type right so struct is a similar to a complex data type where we can store more than one data so it is similar to a, C, a class structure class in C, C sharp but there is a difference class is actually a reference type and struct is a value type so now let us see how we can create struct in C sharp suppose if you want to store a details of a person like such as name, email and phone number. Now let us see how we can start creating a struct in C sharp. So we have to use a struct keyword to define a structure or struct uh, data object in C sharp. So let us see one example how we can create a structure or a struct. So for example, I want to create a struct for storing student uh, information, not, not student person details such as name, email and phone number right. So we can create struct structure using a struct keyword and we can give a name for this struct, structure and inside struct we can have some data for example we can have public int not int string name. The next I want to store email id so again one more field we can include email id Next I want to store phone number so we can create another uh, field int phone number. So now in this one person structure I have stored three data right. So I can store uh, now I can store hundreds person details such as name, email id, phone number right. So this is how we have to define the structure in C sharp. So once you define this structure, how we can use that? So for to use that, uh, as I told already, struct, struct is a value type, right? So just we have to create a variable for this struct person and then we can store data and we can display the data also. For example, let us see how to store details in this structure. So first we have to define a variable uh, which is a type of structure person. So we can create a variable person p1 first person data I want to store let us we let it let us uh, let us create a variable person 1 so now I want to store details about this person 1 so we can write person 1 dot we can use a dot operator first for accessing the uh, field inside the structure so for example I am going to store the data John now I want to store the next data email id so we can store john at gmail.com the same way we can store the contact number for example i want to store some numbers right so like this we can store data in the structure object right so now uh, structure is a value type where we can store values not only one value we can store multiple values okay just like a object okay but there is a difference between object and the structure variable right so now how, how to access it? To access it we have to use just you have the same way we can use the variable and we can use the dot operator to access the fields. So if I want to display it we can use the right line and we can access person one dot name. So before that we can display a text name is equal to like this. So followed by the next I want to display email id. So for example if I want to display email id we can create uh, we can display like this email colon person one dot email id. Next I want to display the 
phone number right so we can use phone just we have to use the dot operator and we have to use the structure variable right person is a structure variable and we can access store the data so here we are storing the data and here in console dot write line we are displaying the data so how to store data inside structure variable right so this is a struct person three data i am going to store name email id phone number so how to store first we need to create a variable of that particular structure then in that variable we can add these field properties name email id phone details we can store and where whenever you need you can able to access it so now let us see the output here so we have got the output name is john and the email id is john at gmail.com phone number something whatever we have given right so it's working right we are able to store multiple data uh, of a particular person in one variable one person variable which is a struct variable right so this is what struct structure or struct right so when you deal with this struct or structure uh, we can also understand this the structure is similar to a class structure in c++ is similar to a class so uh, we can also create the structure variable by using new keyword also for example we can create for example in this example i have taken smart smartphone details right so uh, using new keyword also we can create a structure variable new smartphone even though you are using new keyword it is actually only value type it is not a reference type so we have to call it as value type that is the main difference between class and uh, struct so uh, the same program we can convert like this for example person1 equal to we can create a new operator using new operator we can create this uh, object person object then followed by we can attach this data person one dot name person one dot email id we can attach the data so still we will be getting the output so let us see the output here john john at gmail dot com the same output we are getting right so this is about how to create struct and how to create a variable structure variable and how to store the data and how to access the data right so as i told already it is similar to a class right so we can have constructor as well as methods so we can have constructor in uh, we can define methods as well as constructors in structure variable structure right or a struct right so uh, in the previous example we can let us see how we can include uh, constructor as well as the methods right so for example in here we have a person structure right usually the person details we should not keep it public so we have to make it private so so this is the best way is we have to keep it private for security we can keep the access specifier as private so that uh, direct access we can avoid directly changing the phone number email id we can avoid we can only permit the access through the method okay so now let us see how to add constructors so we can create a constructor using public that is very important then person then inside this constructor we can uh, create parameters first one is name the next one is email id the next one is phone number parameters we can create and these parameter we can store we, this these are local parameters right so these from this local parameter we can get the value and we can store the actual person name and email id and person using this keyword so here we have to use this dot name equal to name so we can use that automatic generated code right so the next code also generated next code also generated okay so now this is what constructor so this constructor will be called when we create a variable of this structure this particular structure we can create a variable right so when we create the variable we can able to uh, call this constructor right so this is about constructor the same way we can add method for displaying or accessing that field of this structure structure data right so let us add one more method public void display so in this method i want to display the de details about the particular person details right so here i have written the code right i'll cut i will cut this all this code i'll cut and i'll keep it here now when it comes to here we should not keep this person one 
person one is not needed instead of that here this keyword is by default it will come this keyword so this keyword is implicit here so using this keyword only it is printing the name of that particular object uh, variable struct okay so we can uh, display all the data name email id phone number right so now here you have to notice that the name email id phone number everything is private but we can able to access only through this function through this function we can able to see the data right and this is a constructor which will be called when we create a variable right now let us see how the constructor is called okay so constructor will be called this we can remove it because directly we cannot access the reason is the those data are actually private in structure right so we can we cannot directly access this so we have to uh, now we have to call this constructor right so how to call the constructor is when we, we can create one uh, structure structure variable person one new person here we have to pass the data so what are the data name of the uh, person email id phone number right so let us uh, pass some data uh, for example vimal and the email id is vimal at gmail.com and phone number let it be uh, some number i'll provide okay right usually phone number is uh, 10 digit for 10 digit we have to use long int okay int is, int is not uh, it won't ac accommodate all 10 numbers okay right so uh, like this we can create a person structure variable so when you create person structure variable since we are using new person so this will call look at this this will call the constructor right so uh, the vimal name nimal comes to this variable email id will be passed pass on to this email id variable phone number is passed on to this phone variable so here the data will be initialized okay and after this we can if we want to see the details right so we can call the display function like this so we can now we can test this program save this and we can execute now look at this we are getting the uh, data vimal vimal at gmail.com so we were we are able to store details through constructor and we are able to see the details using the method also right so here what we have to understand is structure is similar to a class only but the difference is in structure we can store uh, structure is a value type and class is a reference type and uh, like class we in structure also we can have constructor we can have constructor we can have method also so there is a uh, there are some difference between structure and uh, this one uh, class okay so there are two difference we can see first one is a class is a reference type whereas struct is a value type okay class is a reference type struct is a value type so now to understand now here you can uh, see one uh, example program right for example uh, class student and i have one data name okay i have one data so let us uh, i'll put it like this way so uh, i have a class okay first i'll take a class as an example class student i have only one data name okay now look at this i'm creating an object s1 new student s1 new student i'm creating a first student object i'm assigning s1 dot name equal to john david then this s1 i'm assigning to another student object s2 right so now using this s2 i'm trying to update the name of the student I'm changing to Anish Albert. So, so now uh, the expect the output will be. So now when I'm printing S1 dot name, S1 is this one, right? What is the name of the S1? Previously it was John. Now I'm trying to modify that name using S2 reference. Okay. Since I have assigned S1 to S2. Okay. So now if I print S1 dot name, the name the output will be getting Anish Albert. Okay. So here what we have to understand is, so when you do this assignment, the reference is copied. Here you have to understand this, the reference will be copied. The reference is copied, not the value, right? So class is a reference type. So when you assign one reference to another reference, another student class reference, the reference, the memory address will be, uh, will be copied, okay? So that's why if you modify 
the parameter if you modify the field name using this s2 it will affect s1 also so when i print s1 dot name we are getting anish albert the updated data but but whereas in structure it is actually uh, not like that structure is actually a value type okay so in structure if you change the field by using the other reference it won't affect the it won't affect the original data okay so for example uh, the same example i have modified a struct struct student the name okay same example here also i am doing the same operation s1 equal to new student s1 dot name john david okay and i am assigning s1 to s2 and i am modifying the name using s2 reference s2 object variable okay so now look at this output when i am trying when i am printing s1 dot name it is still john david it is not updated so here what we can understand is here what is uh, what we have to understand is when you do this assignment s1 when you assign this s1 to s2 actually value is copied okay value is copied so both are different object both are point into different object if you modify the name it won't affect the another object okay since the copying here takes actually only value it is not a reference type okay so the value only copied the john david is copied to s2 so uh, that that s2 object name is modified to anish albert but s1 dot name is still john only okay so you will be getting john david as output okay so this is a first difference between uh, class and struct okay the first difference is class is a reference type whereas struct is a value type so second one more difference is inheritance is not possible in struct where uh, inheritance is a main feature in uh, c sharp class okay so in c sharp the inheritance and interface is actually uh, most important feature that is not supported in structure right so structure is a very uh, limited functionality uh, almost equal to class but there are some uh, there are major differences okay between class and struct right so that's all about what is struct in c sharp thank you